In this quick tutorial, we're going to learn how to use animations to make our character movement and behavior a lot better. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you know how to open up Stencil, sort out your workspace folder. I also am going to assume you know how to put your character into Stencil from something like Piscal app using sprite sheets. And also, I'm going to assume that you know how to control your character with simple movements like left and right and jumping. For our animations to work, we're going to go into our character nubby here. We're going to go to the appearance and we're going to make sure we know the names of our animations. In this case, the animation is walking right when he's facing right and walking left. You can see that I've got a small W and a capital R, small W and a capital L. I just want to make sure I've got those names correct. When I go to my character's events, I'm really simply going to go to the movement and see where the right button is and the left button is. Very simple. I'm going to go to my actors and I'm going to go to the draw tab and I'm going to put in two switch animations over here like this. When the right button is pressed, I'm going to put one switch animation code there and one switch animation code block over there. So what I'm going to do is you're not going to be able to find the name of your animation just by clicking the arrow. So you're going to have to write it in. So when we click on the right button, I would like the animation to switch to walking right. And when the left button is pressed, I would like the animation to switch to walking left. Let's see if that code works. And that's really well done. So when we move right, our character faces right and moves. And when we move left, our character faces left and then moves left. And it looks just brilliant right now, the way it's working. We could also add an animation for when our character stands still but we'll deal with that in another video. For now, this is a really simple way of controlling your animations. Make sure you've got the animation you need for what that character should be doing. And then whenever you need to change the animation, use the switch animation in the correct part of the blocks and your animation will change exactly as you want it to.